So we're going to do an India ink ink blot transfer. So I'm going to take this image and abstract it over to this side using ink and a piece of tracing paper. So um, I've already taped down my original image onto my larger paper and then I've created a hinge with blue tape uh, on my um, transparency. And then as I look through the image, I'm going to be painting little bits at a time on here and transferring it over to the other side. Now, India ink will stain permanently, so it's important to make sure you're wearing an apron if you're wearing anything that you don't want to get stained. If it gets on your hands, eventually it'll wash out, but it does stay for quite a while. Um, you're also going to want to work little by little. Don't try to do too much at one time. Otherwise, um, the ink actually dries before it can get over uh, to the other surface. So I'm going to go ahead and just start on um, the handle of this cup, and I'm just doing a little line. Then I fold my paper over, and I press on the back of it and bring it back. And you can see it gets a blotted line on the other side. And it abstracts the line in a really unusual sort of way. And this is something that Andy Warhol would do for his uh, shoe images, his illustrations. So top of the container. And dip some more ink. And I'm doing little bits at a time so that it transfers. And if you get any blobs of ink, that's actually part of the technique. Um, and it gives it this interesting appearance. And people will not know exactly how you did it. Um, and it has this vintage sort of look that I think is really interesting. See, I made a blot over there, but that's okay. That's part of the uh, look of this. And if you bring it over and it doesn't transfer, you can always do the line again. Like this is a little light, I could redo it over here, but I don't mind. I actually like the unevenness of the tone. Uh, it adds for an interesting texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this little by little and transfer my whole design over, step by step. And then when I'm done, I can use a color pencil or watercolor to color it in. Uh, and it will be an interesting vintage ink transfer uh, picture. All right, so let's give this one a shot.